Hi, let's say you have a nice MATLAB script or function, but you like to create a standalone C or C++ application executable for your end user. What would you do? No worries. In this video, I will show you two examples. The first example is a script that can convert an image to an ASCII art. It will generate the ASCII art and save it to ASCII.txt text file. If you don't know what ASCII art is, let me run the program, then you will see. Select an image. As you can see, based on the intensity of each pixels, I'm able to generate a diagram that only using ASCII characters. So now I'm going to generate a standalone application for this script using my lab library compiler. Select C or C++ share library, then select the MATLAB file. Go to samples, create a new sample or an existing sample. Sample is for initializing and calling the script. If your script is not a function, then you can simply add a word function on top of it as I did. Then click package. During this process, the compiler will run the code three times. That's why I have to select the image three times. Then you will see three folders are generated. Go to the redistribution folder and click this executable file. Select the path for your program installation. It will help the user to install MATLAB runtime. If you already have the MATLAB runtime, then it will say runtime is already installed. It. Go to the generated folder. And the application samples, you should be able to see two CPP files. Copy the one that has the ending of mda.cpp and paste it to the generated interface folder under v2. Run your command prompt as an administrator. Type mbuild plus the file name of the CPP file. After compiling, you now finally get your executable for your script. Run the executable, then you will see an output that is the same as we had in the MATLAB. In the second example, I made a function that can add matrices from two separate data files. Then you will output the result to matrixout.txt. It also tests the MATLAB user input. Run the library compiler as we did in the first example, then you will see that three folders.
is before we get the executable. But if I run it like that, I will get an error. That's because I haven't added my data files to this folder. I'm gonna add them now, so make sure you have all the files ready for your user. And it works nice. To share your application, simply create a folder. Copy paste everything from the generic interface to that folder. And don't forget to also copy paste my app installer as cutable. After that, you can add a readme file or do whatever you like. At least that's a folder you want to share to others. And I send the folder to another laptop, assuming that's your end user. Then your user can run the application without running or installing MATLAB. Thank you for watching.